We now have the presentation of the General John A. Lejeune Recognition for Exemplary Leadership. It goes to Mr. Robert Stevens. The General John A. Lejeune Recognition for Exemplary Leadership. This year, the foundation has instituted a new honor entitled, excuse me, uh, the Lejeune Recognition for Exemplary Leadership. This recognition, which was provided by the founder, Patrick Brent, in the form of a statuette of General Lejeune that is now the same size and weight as an Oscar and a World War I Springfield 1903 rifle. Little known fact. Is everybody okay with Lejeune? We're doing Lejeune now, not Lejeune. It's official. The criteria for this recognition is demonstrated leadership in their chosen profession, appointed or elected position that is clearly exemplary and worthy of emulation. The recipient must epitomize the core values of honor, courage, and commitment, and practice the leadership traits and principles ascribed to by the United States Marine Corps. The Marine Corps Heritage Foundation's first recipient of this award is Mr. Robert J. Stevens. As, the, as a Marine Corporal, he clearly exemplified our core values and practiced our leadership traits and principles in his oppressive rise to his current leadership position in the business world, as well as his active involvement in national and community affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Robert J. Stevens. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the warm reception. I can only stand before you extremely honored to enjoy this recognition this evening, uh, certainly because it's offered by the Marine Corps Heritage Foundation, an organization that I hold in the very highest esteem, and also because it has associated with it the name of John Archer Lejeune, who was such an outstanding and inspirational and effective leader in his lifetime. Today, I have the great personal privilege of representing 136,000 people across Lockheed Martin. And these are individuals I've come to know as among the very finest who work in business today. They're possessed with great intellect. Uh, they have an enormous capacity to set the highest standards for ethics and integrity in business conduct. Um, I'm so very honored to be associated with them. I have some of my colleagues from the company here with me tonight. I wanted to take this opportunity to personally thank you for all that you do to create a company that I'm so very proud to be associated with. I want to... I'd like to add my voice in congratulations to those Marines and those other distinguished individuals tonight who received awards and recognition because the work that you do is so outstanding and it inspires so many of our fellow citizens to see that the Marine Corps is such an essential force for not only good in America, but the well-being of literally hundreds of millions of people around the world. Congratulations and thank you for all that you do. Phyllis, I have the great good fortune of working with you on the Congressional Medal of Honor Foundation Board of Directors, where, as you probably could suspect by Phyllis's comments tonight, she is an incredible force. Thank you for all that you do, ma'am. I'll leave you with one thought. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'll leave you with one thought. Like many of you, I have the opportunity to go back to the schools that I attended and talk to the students in those classes. And in my last visit to the business school at Columbia University in New York, a member of the class asked me if I could tell them the class that I took in business school that best equipped me for the leadership responsibilities in a Fortune 100 company. And like you, I've learned that there are not many ways to give people bad news, so I gave it to them directly, just like you would, when I said I did not learn about leadership in business school. I learned about leadership when I was 18 years old and first introduced to the United States Marine Corps, where leadership is not taught by a favored professor in a three-credit hour course. It is taught by every officer and every NCO in every minute of every hour of every day, in every action, every word, every deed, and every circumstance. And in that experience, you are immersed in a culture of excellence that is built on a foundation of virtue and values. And I struggle today when I look across the country and even more broadly around the world at how many other institutions today even speak of values and virtues, let alone practice it in every heartbeat of their lives. 
So you can only imagine the debt of gratitude that I have in my life for having been associated with the United States Marine Corps. And I want to thank all of those who shaped the Marine Corps, those who are here tonight, some who came before us, some who are beyond the sound of our voices, but those who shaped the Marine Corps that directly benefited me and literally hundreds of thousands of people like me in their lives. I thank you for this honor. I will treasure it always. God bless you. God bless the United States. God bless the United States Marine Corps.